Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and I hope you had an awesome weekend. Right, I'm here today with the finale, yes, the final of my Eiffel Store design team haul that I got last week and um, all I've done today is just basically given a couple of ideas of what you can do with these dies but they've all been cut out in white because I just wanted to show you that they all cut out because I think that's the most important thing so that's basically what I'm going to show you today and also to let you know that I am not going to be back up again now until Thursday because I've got a couple of appointments this week so um, that's when I'm going to be back so I'm just kind of like telling you at the beginning just in case anyone jumps on here and wonders where on earth I've gone I'll probably wonder where on earth I've gone myself but I will be back on Thursday right so first up um, there's a lady on the channel who was asking about this one and she told me it's a horse chestnut which would mean that this area here they would be conkers that's if you're gonna you know sort of like fill them back in I think it's conkers <laughs> if I'm wrong on that uh, I'm sure she's gonna let me know because she sounded like quite an expert right and that is the cutout so if I pop the die over to there and just pop that down there for a second you can see that the whole thing cuts out absolutely beautifully so that one is the horse chestnut next up and picking up a couple of items because I kind of like the bits that popped out on this one and um, this is that sort of like campanula um, stroke bellflower and I'll push that over to there grab the little bits that popped out and I'm going to pop that one down there and hopefully you can see all that. I can see there's one tiny little piece that I didn't poke out there but you know I'll forgive myself and what I loved is this whole stem came out and also these flowers which means that you could do that in plain white and then you could actually watercolour these pieces and then you could just lay them across you know you could sort of create a little arrangement out of those or just use them independently so you've got like a couple of options coming out of that die so that's that one I'm going to call it Campanula and these were back and forth back and forth next one is the um I think this is a chrysanthemum but then I looked at this bit here and I wondered it could also be a water lily so you know you've got those embossed swirls which could I don't know denote water or something so this is either a chrysanthemum or a water lily or something of that ilk so I'll pop that one just over to there and I cut this one in gold I had a little bit of uh, Panelisa's gold foil paper left not gold foil gold glitter and if I flip that over, you can see it's quite thin, which makes die cutting it really easy. But isn't that pretty? I'll pick that one up and do a bit of a close-up. But you can see the whole thing just cuts out really, really wonderfully. So that one there, and I hope you can see it, is either chrysanthemum or water lily or something like that. Or lotus. Lotus flower? Yeah, it might be. And then next up is one that I decided to do something different with. And I think this one is um, snowdrops. I think it's snowdrops. I'm looking at the leaves and they're quite big compared to the shape of the little bellflowers. And so what I did with this was, whoops. First of all, you get a couple of little pieces, which you can see here at the top which you can add back in or just leave as part of your panel. But I decided to cut this one out and I just poked out a bit that I forgot to poke. And so that's what I did. I just quite literally tracked around it with my scissors. So, you know, you're not sort of like stuck with having to use it as a panel because once you've used it as a panel a couple of times and you've made a gatefold or you've done your pocket or your envelope or what have you, you want to be able to use it in other ways and that would look great on a journal pocket or you cut that in black. 
And then, of course, you can always use this piece or use your die and you can draw around it with a pencil so that you've got a backer that you can cut out or just glue it straight down onto paper and um, then just track around it with your scissors once again. And that would give you a solid background of a pattern because I've still got this card stuck on my desk, but, you know, obviously... I don't think you'd use anything as heavily patterned as that, but if you get what I mean, and then you'd be able to cut it out and lay it down on a plane of background, so that could look really pretty. So that one, I believe, is Snowdrops. I don't think it's Bluebells, or Squillia, I think, is the uh, the Latin name for Bluebells. I think it is. <laughs> Not Squirrel, but Squillia. And I'm pretty sure that they have more like sort of strap-shaped leaves, sort of thinner. And then last but not least, this one could be um, chamomile, daisy, chrysanthemum, whichever one you want. Because, of course, chrysanthemums come as big doubles and they also come as singles. And this is the one that I did for that. Now, I'm holding this one because this one's interesting. You can see that you've um, you've got partial cuts, which means that you can pop up little elements within the flower. And just roll your finger across them. And you've got little elements that will just pop up in the air. And I think that's really sweet because if I go along here, it's just great, I think, when you just add a little bit of dimension onto whatever it is that you're doing. So there's your little pop-up bits. And of course you could always roll the edges of your flowers as well. But I just think that's really pretty. And there you can see the rolled up bits. Really like that. So basically that's what I wanted to show you today. I just wanted to show you a couple of different ideas that you can do with them and of course the fact that they work because working is important. There's no point in having anything that doesn't work and all of them cut out absolutely beautifully and if you remember the other projects that we did from last week, I've still got a couple on my desk here, there was the ephemera pocket which I really love and we started it off with the peacock which was using two of them so you've got the feather on the inside of your card these will all be going out of the door now because I've donated them and then we did that wonderful one which is great for Thanksgiving if you've got any squirrel dies or anything they'd look really cute on there and then of course we did the magnolia envelope and that's what we got up to with that haul. Right. I thank you so much for watching. And uh, I'm going to be back up on Thursday. So you have a glorious week. Thank you. As usual, all links below. Bye.